hi guys today is sunday and since i was not able during the week to finish the organizing and cleaning of my studio i decided today to come to the office slash studio um and uh, finish it it has been almost three hours again i am completely exhausted um it's not perfect it's not the most prettiest thing in the world but it's functional and um that's the most important thing at least at the moment my studio is pretty much just for me it's not for anyone else to see it so it doesn't have to be pretty, it just has to be organized and functional and does not have things that I don't need. Maybe I needed to throw more things away, but I, I'm done with this. I have also other things at my room slash house studio um, to deal with. It won't be today, of course, but yeah. <laughs> So for now, this place is done. And I'm going to show you um, a little bit of it. It's different. The tables are different from the day that I show you because I was not able to put these bookshelves, uh, both of them, in this part of the room. Um, so I decided to... Uh, to change the tables and I have a lot of surface for working which is great it's always something that I struggled with but now I think I have um, a good surface to work and to pack my orders without having a lot of things on the way and since I'm I will be starting in the next days a very special project um, I can talk a little bit about it. It won't be announced officially until mid-February, so... Uh, but I will try to work um, in the next couple of days, start to work on it. It's going to be a 100 days project, and on each of day of this 100 day project I will be showing or presenting um, a notebook or something notebook slash journal slash uh, planner slash something like that um, so it's gonna be a really um, hard-working project but I think it's going to be great so without any delongs I will give you a small tour of my studio so now when you walk in in this room, this is what you see from the right side. And I'm going to give you a small panoramic. I'm sorry if I'm shaking, but I didn't bring my tripod. It is a quite big room and now I have more walking space. I'm gonna start on the left. As I said previously, this is my cutting area. I have this um, guillotine. Uh, it's uh, special for um, blocks of pages. Um, the window, it's still closed because uh, it's broken, uh, the opening thingy. So that's why it's still closed. I have a lot of surface here that I can work and where I can put uh, projects away when I need. Under the table it's a little bit messy. Um, I need, uh, this is um, the place where I usually put the scraps of paper so I can recycle it, but the rest I was, I was too tired to go through these files. These files are my old school projects and I don't need them anymore. I, I will probably throw them away, so... And then that's papers, and in that bag there are some books that I need to put away, but it won't be today. This is my um, main desk. It's where I 
where I'll do most of my work. It's also the sturdiest of the desks that I have. Uh, it also has in the last drawer a resident spider. It's a very ugly spider and I screamed when I saw it and I left it where it was. <laughs> so here it's going to be the gluing and the press uh, part of the things. These are a bunch of prints so I can do covers for, for notebooks. Below I have these two carts with storage. It has, well I can show a little bit what it is. This one has some thread and underneath it has my lino cut materials. Oh, I'm not showing it. And underneath, I'm not really sure what it is, but there are important things. This one has my elastic bands and ribbon for the hardcover um, notebooks. And I not remember how this is, what's the name of this in English, but I use it to um, put the elastics in the hardcovers. And I have some extra materials underneath, like glue and other things. Uh, this is a reproduction of a poster from an old uh, Portuguese movie from the 60s. I really like the graphics of it, so I took the time to <laughs> put it up. Um, this is where most of my tools that I need to be uh, near me at my hand so I have them here on the top I have pretty much the same things that I had before the only thing that I added it's these two containers where I have my cards these are not for paper cards and here are the, the details and the other the other box, it's the thank you cards. With every order, I always like to send a thank you card. It's in English, Portuguese, um, French, Spanish, German, and Italian. I don't speak all of these languages, but oh well. This is a mug from Redbubble. This uh, pattern was made by me. I also have a red bubble shop that I want to add more things. I also have a Society 6 or had in the past. Um, I, I want to update it again because I have really cool stuff, but um, I hadn't, hadn't time to put their things. Here it's my main work area. This is a very um, large cutting mat. It's an A1 cutting mat. So it's really good to cut cardboard and it's mainly where I do part of the hardcover and, and even the other notebooks because it's very easy to spread things around and do and cut them and use them here. This is um, this table was the one where I used to glue my things, but now I change it. I put my computer in this table. Not just because it has the less light, and as a computer uh, in the office, I don't need a lot of light. Um, it's also the place where I put my shipping things, or at least part of them. Um, I have some bookmarks ready to be cut. Uh, I also want to use this wood part to put some artwork or ideas. You know, use it a little bit as a mood board. Uh, that's my computer. Beneath it's my office computer, but uh, I think it's broke. At least the screen is not working and I'm freaking out about it. But <laughs> not too much, but I'm uh, freaking out on the inside. These are my bookshelves. I wanted to show all of them. Um, okay, I'll have to pan. Uh, below in the left side I have... Um, envelopes, cardboard envelopes. On, on the right side I have paper. 
Here I have more shipping supplies and my pins, my pin buttons uh, tools, and also random paper. Um, then I have three A3 papers that I need to storage flat. I have some drawing books and above I have some design books. I can show a little bit closer if you're curious about any of the books, please let me know. Would you be interested if I talk about some of these books? Let me know in the comments. I'm, I'm a little bit of a book nerd, so I always... I always love to talk about books. Um, here it's where I have some of my stock. Uh, this is These are the A6 notebooks. They are a little bit um, not well stored, um, but I will have to deal with it uh, soon. Um, here are the A5 notebooks, uh, soft cover and hard cover ones. These are postcards, and then I have more tools above. And this, this is it. This is my, my studio. It's not a very big studio, but it works all very well. Um, I'm very curious to start to use this display and see if this uh, surface works well with me. I also have on the opposite side, I have um, a closet. It's full of things that I probably, some of them I should throw out. Uh, some of them are my old notebooks and my old sketchbooks. Um, those I don't want to just throw out, but they they do occupy a lot of space. That's also where I stored my cardboards and all of those things that are really big. Uh, it's not the perfect storage, but for now it will have to do. And yeah, I'll be soon going home. And I know that I have still one um, notebook to sew that I'll try to do it today. And I also have to cut a few things too. And um, I might record it if the camera still has some battery. Um, and yeah, I hope you like to see my, my studio. And um, I'll see you in the next clip. Hi guys, today is Tuesday. Uh, yesterday I did mostly ad admin stuff and I contacted a few clients and um, I will, didn't do much <laughs> other in, in other terms. I also took time to um, to go out of the house and do some brainstorm while I wasn't in a coffee shop. Um, it's not something that I do a lot, but I've been trying to incorporate that in my routine. 
because sometimes just uh, changing your environment is helpful into organizing or um, improving your ideas because you don't have your regular um, distractive surroundings doesn't mean that they're all is distractive but if I'm not at home I don't have my internet on I don't have the urge to uh, listen to music to put some series or some movie so I can listen something in the background or to have an audiobook or something like that so that makes me um, if I'm trying to program things, I'll be more focused. And um, yeah, I also yesterday um, I went to visit my grandma. Uh, she is in um, I don't know how you say it in English. Uh, she has been uh, in the hospital, and a couple of weeks ago she was she had some surgery, and now she is in. Um, I really don't know how to say it in English. She's in, a place, she's in a place where they're taking care of her and she's better uh, while she recovers um, than to be at home um, because she has some stitches and she must be, you know, be careful. Uh, she's quite old. Um, but she's reacting well. She can't wait to go home. Um, so I try to visit her as much as I can, but the visit hours are always in the afternoon and sometimes they cut a lot into my working day so I don't go every day but I go as, of as often as I can so and yesterday I went to visit her and I also did some brainstorming and admin stuff you know it was more uh, important things to do day but but also a take it easy day um, today, I delivered uh, one order, uh, those calendars that you saw me doing in the last studio vlog, I delivered in person. Um, I have a bunch of orders to do this week. Uh, you saw me in, I don't know if I will put the, the footage before this clip or after but it was recorded before of me stitching a, a notebook um, unfortunately the thread that I choose was very thin I hadn't used that thread in a while and I forgot that it didn't work when I have very um, thick pages I needed a stronger or at least thicker thread and I had to um, redo it uh, all over again I'll show you in a sec but um, it was okay it just sometimes when you don't do things for a long time you forget the little details and the details are important so yeah but I didn't record the that part because I run out of battery womp 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 <laughs> Uh, fortunately, my battery charges quite quickly, but I'm still waiting for a second battery so I can always be prepared. Um, I will show you what I've sewn today. They will be, sorry, they will be cut it in maybe tomorrow probably. Um, I still have to finish a bunch of, uh, to prep some files to be printed. Um, I don't think I'll be printing them today. It's already 5.30 in the afternoon and um, the shop, the print shop where I go, uh, closes around 7 and I usually don't like to go there around 6.30 uh, because it's also a lot of confusion and sometimes there's a lot of people and um, it's easy to uh, do a mistake either me or them and so I prefer to go there in calmer hours um, So yeah, most likely I will be going there tomorrow morning this way I can uh, prep the files uh, very calmly see if I don't do any mistake 
and um, yep, that's what I'll be doing for the rest of today. And now I'm going to show you the, um, the notebooks that I've sewn today. This is going to be a um, hardcover notebook. Typically, you glue the end papers to the, your block of, of paper. Um, but I prefer to sew it. It's not what traditional it's done, but I prefer it this way. This is going to be... I don't know if it can see in the image. It's going to be a dot grid hardcover notebook. I will show it when I finish. Uh, it's probably going to be one of the first notebooks of my uh, 100 days project. Um, I will try and this is maybe, I don't know, a little bit um, controversial. Most people will, would be doing a 100 day project like starting day one and do it consect consec I don't know how to say it um, and do the 100 days uh, but I want to prep as much as I can so I will have the when I start the 100 days uh, I want to be only being sharing what I've done and not exactly doing the things the, the notebooks in this case um, because it would be easier for me to be this way uh, and also I don't know I, f I feel it's going to work better and while the 100 project is going on I can work on other things and I have other projects that I want to be done so I think it's going to work well this way. Um, this is also a, a notebook that might go for the 100 project. This cover was a custom cover, but I printed it twice because I was not sure about the colors. I've already sent the, the other one and I did want to take advantage of this one, so I'll probably use it on my 100 project. 100 days project. It says, and so the adventure begins. It, the cover mimics a wood grain and the back cover it's a lemon pattern that I also have, uh, that I usually use for my uh, cookbooks or recipe notebooks. I also am trying to use some end papers on my soft cover notebooks. It's, it's usually just um, a sheet of um, thin cardboard, and um, I'm actually liking it. I I start to do it in my own notebooks, and um, since I like it, I think I will be turning my own products this way. This one is also dot gridded or dot grid. Um, I'm trying these. Um, and uh, yeah, this is what I done today and I uh, will now be moving on to my computer and work there.